Let's take a look at how to um, effectively change the apparent color of this handle without actually changing any pixels. I would like to make this handle uh, the color of some of these bristles here. And so I'm going to use my eyedropper tool. Up here you'll notice that I have, instead of a point sample, which could actually uh, pick the color of one pixel, I'm going to use a 3x3 three three average. Uh, that means that when I select a pixel, it's going to actually uh, take an average of the pixels in a grid around that pixel. So I won't, uh, ha I won't run the risk of actually selecting an unusually uh, dark or light pixel here. It's going to actually take an average. So I'll click there and select my color. I'll zoom back out, Command-0. Now I have a color here. If I click on my picker, I can see numbers here for the red, green, and blue channels, and that's what I want to use. So I'll have a red value of 162. I'll have a green value of 144, and I'll have a blue value of 117. These are the values that I'm going to use to change the apparent color of my, of my handle. So I'll make a selection of my handle. I've already uh, pre-selected that. You can use any of a number uh, of, of means of doing that, and I'll, I'll simply load my selection. And now I have my handle selected. Um, I, I want to uh, use a curves adjustment layer to do this. First, I'm going to set a point on my handle uh, to, to sample from. So I'm going to use the color sampler tool to place a point on my handle. There I have a point on my handle. don't really need to, to, to have this open for this procedure. So I'll close that window. And now I will elect to uh, put a curve on my on my layer. Now notice I have a mask here that only is showing the handle. So what I want to do is adjust each of my channels to match the numbers that I had written down. So if I uh, get my regular eyedropper now and I get over my point that I've selected, I want to select from the same point here, I'm going to hold down the command key and click. That puts a point on my curve and now I can change my uh, output number down here and that was a 162 for the red, so I'll type in 162. I'll go to my uh, green channel and command click on the point to select a point on the curve. And you can see I have a point there. And my green value was 144. And I'll go to my blue channel. And once again, I will hold down the command key and click on my uh, point there and my blue value was 117 so in the output uh, window I'll type a 117 and that is it that effectively uh, changes the appearance of my handle you can see turning my curves on and off has effectively uh, shifted the color of this handle more towards uh, my bristles there very easy to do